sex scene was being played in a family. A young man dressed in a fashionable and expansive manner was pointing at an old man next to him, kept saying something. No need to distinguish carefully. Everyone could tell he was swearing. Suddenly, perhaps the old man had somehow offended the young man. The young man rushed forward in a fury and started punching and kicking the old man. At that moment, a leopard cat suddenly appeared and protected the old man. The leopard cat leaped up and pounced directly on the young man. What is the relationship between the old man and the young man? And why did the leopard cat protect the old man? The old man mentioned above is Tom. Tom has worked hard all his life, earlier for his family, then for the elder, later for his children. He leads an ordinary and mundane life like many others. Tom has reached middle age this year and is approaching old age. The affairs of the world are in constant. After his son was well on his way to adulthood, Tom's wife died of an illness. As his son is away at work, busy with his own affairs, Tom is the only one left at home. In 2013, Tom, 54, usually does odd jobs or be on duty at the gate. Although Tom is usually the only one at home, he still keeps the house clean and tidy. A home full of memories for him and his wife. Every brick and tile was built by their hard work, little by little. Looking at this, he can't help but feel sad. One day, Tom was on duty at the gate. He found a poor little cat lying next to a bin off to the side. Tom saw that the pattern on the kitten's body was a little different. Could even be called extremely strange. It looked a little like a small leopard. When the cat saw Tom, it kept meow, meow to him. Then it lowered its head, as if it thought of something else. Tom saw the poor-looking kitten. He said, Why are you here, you little cat? Are you hungry? After thinking for a while, he turned around and went back to get a piece of steamed bun he hadn't finished for lunch, put it in his mouth and chewed it up before feeding it to the kitty. The kitten was probably already very hungry. It started to gobble. Tom saw the kitten gobbling happily. So he gave it some more buns. When it had finished eating, Tom Tom took out his drinking glass, found a bottle cap, poured some water on it, then put it in front of the kitty. Kitten stuck out its tongue and licked the water. After a few times, the cat, already well fed, no longer looking as dull as before, it circled around Tom happily looking as if it was expressing its gratitude to him. Seeing that the kitten had been revived, Tom was ready to go back to work. Unexpectedly, the kitten looked at Tom who was leaving and followed him straight behind. Wherever Tom went, the kitten followed. Tom was amused. Are you want come with me? He turned to look at the kitty. He took some quick steps, trying to make it impossible for the kitty to keep up. Then it would give up. However, when Tom wanted to go home after work in the evening, the kitten was still following him. Tom had no choice but to take the kitten home. He shared some of his dinner with the kitten. And so, in the days that followed, wherever Tom appeared, people would always see a beautiful kitten following behind him. Once, the kitten even picked up a rabbit out of nowhere and brought it to Tom. Tom was startled, but then realized that it was the kitten thanking him. 
people around saw that the kitten was always following Tom. Plus the kitten was so cute. Many people wanted to tease it. It was also very good at using its cuteness. To make people around take out good food and drink. As a result, the kitten was quickly becoming famous in the neighborhood. When people meet Tom, they couldn't help but compliment his kitten on how smart and humane it is. Some people asked where Tom got this little gem from. Then Tom would smile happily, petting the kitten's head, looking at the kitten with an extraordinarily gentle look. The kitten only let Tom pet it. No matter how much it was tempted with goodies or other things, it always dodged other people's hands nimbly. People around loved it and hated it. One day after five months, Tom's son called and said he was out of work. He planned to get a new job. He wanted Tom to give him a little money so he could make ends meet for a while. Tom had been in a joyful mood when he received the phone call from his son. But in an instant it was as if cold water had been thrown down on him. But after thinking about what his son had said, he sighed and went out to remit money to his son. He was not happy. When he came back, after a quick bite to eat, he moved a deck chair in the courtyard and lay down. The kitten was a little surprised to see that Tom wasn't playing with it. As he was before, it climbed up and rubbed its head against Tom. Tom looked at the growing kitten, thinking of his son who never came home, and would ask for money when he did. He stroked the kitten's head and sighed in his heart. His son was not as good as this kitten. Although the kitten couldn't talk, at least it stayed with him. It would come over to comfort him when he was in a bad mood. However, Tom really didn't feel like playing with the kitten today so he put the kitten on the floor, let it play on the side. While he took a nap, the kitten watched as Tom started to sleep and then went off to play on its own. While playing, a big German Shepherd dog ran in through the open gate. It bared its teeth and showed a fierce look, made a dash for Tom's direction. Seeing this, the kitten darted over and stopped the big dog in front of it, growled. The big German Shepherd dog didn't give a damn about it, still charging towards Tom. Seeing that the dog was about to bite Tom, but Tom was still sleeping, the kitten caught the dog with a paw. The dog turned and went to bite the kitten. They tore into each other. Then Tom was woken up. Before he could understand what was happening, he saw a man rushing in from the door, violently restraining the dog. He smiled apologetically and asked if the dog had bitten anyone, saying that he had been careless. Let the German Shepherd dog get out on its own. Seeing the injured kitten, he and Tom took the kitten to the hospital together and paid for its medical bills. Tom then realized the big dog had been heading for him and it was the kitten who had protected him. Looking at the scarred kitten in front of him, he was distressed. So he paid more attention to look after it. Under Tom's care, it didn't take long for the kitten to recover. One day after three years, Tom was shocked to find the front door of his home open. When he returned, he remembered that he had locked the door when he went out. He entered the house, saw a suitcase left casually in the yard. The sound of playing games was coming from the house. He frowned slightly, knowing that it was his son who had returned. He then took the suitcase inside the house. Sure enough, he saw his son spread out on the sofa, playing game. Didn't even look up. When he came in, 
Tom then made dinner, put it on the table, and called his son to eat. He also prepared some for the kitten to eat. When it came back after playing, wait a minute. Don't rush. Can't you see I'm busy? His son was impatient. Tom went to eat on his own. After a while, his son finished his game and came over too. Dad, give me some money. I have a girlfriend. She wants to buy a new house. It's not convenient for me to go out. Buy me a car. That will more convenient for me to work outside. How much do you want? Tom looked at his son, who was started asking for money before he had a bite to eat. Not much, just 400 000. That's enough for both car and house. His son said with a smile 400 000. How can I possibly have that much money? Where is the money you earned before? Give it to me quickly. You can borrow if you don't have. I have a total of 50 000, which I'm saving for your wedding. I can't take out more. Tom took out a bank card. 50,000 is enough for nothing. Old man. Where have you hidden the money? His son Ollie took the bank card from Tom's hand, tugged Tom by the collar and asked him, I really don't have any money. How can I have that much? When you've been asking me for it for years. Tom looked at the strange son in front of him. Ollie kicked the table over, turned around and started rummaging around the house. He didn't find anything. Looked at Tom who was sitting on a chair. He kicked the chair he was sitting on over. You must have hidden it. Where is the money? I really don't have any money. Seeing that Tom didn't change his words, Ollie became more angry. He punched Tom in the stomach and kicking at him. Tom couldn't move and was bruised and battered. Howl! A big cat came in. Seeing this, it went up and scratched Ollie on the arm with a paw. Several bloodstains instantly appeared on Ollie's arm. Watching the cat lunge at him again, he scrambled outside. People around saw the situation. They rushed to check and took Tom to the hospital. This incident became more and more big later. Ollie never dared to come back for the money again. Someone recognized the cat as a leopard cat and contacted Tom. He then found out about its breed. Later, the leopard cat stayed with Tom for a long, long time. That's all for today. Click subscribe for more interesting stories.